Hey, we are here at EA's Studio Showcase now. It hasn't quite started yet, so we took this opportunity to sneak in over here at the Left 4 Dead area and talk to Mike Booth, who is president of Turtle Rock Studios, who are making the game. Mike, what is this game? This game, uh, imagine that uh, you and I are the only uh, lucky survivors in a viral holocaust that turns everyone else into ravening psychotic zombies, basically, and we need to escape LA. So that's, in a nutshell, the game. You, it's, it's all about cooperation. There's four survivors, they have got to trust each other, they've got to watch their backs, and they're trying to make it out alive. So just LA had the viral holocaust? No, it's, it's, uh, it's larger than LA, but um, more I can't say at the moment. We're still, we're keeping the backstory a little bit, you know, sketchy. All right, well, let's actually go see this in action. So we're coming in here. The room's actually pretty empty because nobody's been let in yet, so yay. Uh, and we're going to stand here and watch somebody get jacked up. What's going to happen here is uh, Chris has just been hit with a vomit from the boomer. He's one of our special boss zombies. Uh, boss zombies have specifically weird mutations. The boomer is a big, obese guy full of methane gas who can vomit blood. If he hits you with that blood, then you're basically it for about 20 seconds and every zombie in the area will only target you. So your teammates need to protect you during that time. And just to be clear, uh, even if it is a little bit too much work to protect you, they probably should because an incomplete team is a dead team, right? That's right, that's right. If uh, This is not a game that you can run off on your own. It's designed to be very cooperative. Like in that particular case there, uh, he was just hit by a hunter, Pounce. And once the hunter pounces him, he's done, unless his friends come and save him. So you have to stay together, you have to trust each other, and you have to watch your back. And so we're in kind of a distressed urban environment that's seen better days. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about where the levels are set? Obviously you said LA. Are we going to recognize any locations? No, nothing is that specific. We're trying to keep things fairly generic. Uh, but uh, what you're seeing here is, is an urban environment. Um, we also have other urban environments as well as rural environments, which are very different. They play very differently. Now, what you'll notice here is that it's fairly, it's fairly quiet at the moment. Uh, that's uh, there's another boomer for you. Um, what we have, we have the AI director, that is an artificial intelligence that's watching over the whole scene, and it's going to vary the intensity to keep the experience exciting. Because if we just threw infected at you, horde after horde after horde, you'd quickly get burned out. Uh, and if it was always like this and too quiet, it would be very boring. So the director watches the intensity of each survivor's experience and then raises and lowers the intensity of the game over time. So sometimes you'll just get totally swarmed, there'll be lots of things going on. Sometimes it'll be eerily quiet like this. Now that... That was a combo of two boss zombies, right? The smoker has a 50-foot long prehensile tongue, which you can throw out and grab a uh, survivor and pull him way out of position, right? Which is what, what he just did. Now, while he was being pulled, a hunter was waiting around the corner to pounce on him. So the uh, player-controlled infected, the boss infected, which right now are controlled by AI, can be very devious if they want to work together and set up these sort of traps for them. So for infected, these folks are kind of spry and they move pretty fast. Is that, is that a big concern? You mean the, the infected hordes? Well, you know, I, I found that, that um, having these mobs of just enraged people, I thought was incredibly scary, right? I mean, they're, the traditional uh, shambling zombies also are scary in a different way. Uh, but when you get just completely overwhelmed by 30 or 40, you know, just, r just ravening people, it's very disturbing to say the least. So this is coming out on the PC and the 360, correct? That's correct, yes. Are there going to be any uh, differences between the two games? Will they be able to play with each other? Anything crazy like that? Uh, right now that's still up in the air, exactly how that's going to work. What we're concentrating on right now is just making the game experience as polished and good and intense as we can possibly make it on, on both platforms. As far as PC goes, um, this, it looks really good, but is it going to be much of a resource hog? We are taking a lot of effort to make sure that the, the game is optimized and runs well on a variety of machines. And that's one of the strengths of the Source Engine is that it is very scalable and, uh, uh, you know, it runs on many different levels of consumer hardware.
And so this is one one particular stage. Can you give us a sense of how the game's structure is going to be? Is it clear different stages, different areas? What we have right now is, is basically survive and escape. So you see that red door right up there? That's the first sort of safe room door. And once the survivor team makes it to that door, uh, go, ahead and go, go ahead and go in, Chris. Uh, once the team makes it to that door, then they've progressed. They've made it through the first part of this campaign. And each campaign is five maps long. And, uh, and, and for an experienced survivor team, it'll take them about 45 minutes to an hour to make it, if they know what they're doing and they survive. But you don't always survive in uh, Left 4 Dead. It's survival horror. All right, well, there you go. That's, uh, that's a lot of infected viral stuff happening in L.A., like always. And there's people trying to escape it. So that's really cool, man. Thanks very much. And when can we look for the game? Uh, right now we're uh, just saying 2008. Sweet, good and vague. So <laughs> we'll be bugging him most of 2008 until we find out about when it's coming out. But until then, let's go look at all the other stuff they got here at EA Studio Showcase.